So you want to know where to see puffins in Iceland. Most people that visit Iceland in the summer are looking to see puffins. For good reason, they are the cutest bird ever. And by the way, did you know that they're monogamous? The best time to see puffins is from mid-April to mid-August. So if you're not coming during the summer months, you're not going to see them. The Atlantic puffin is dotted all over Iceland along the cliffs. Some places are easily accessible and some places you actually can only get to by an organized tour. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about five places that you can see puffins. By the way, my name is Jeannie and way back in 2015, I sold everything I owned, moved to Iceland, and now I wanna help you plan the trip of your dreams, including seeing puffins. So let's get into it. The first place that you can see puffins in Iceland is in Vestmanaer, AKA the Westman Islands. This is a group of islands located off the south coast of Iceland. To get there, you can either take a ferry or an airplane. This is where you will find the location of Iceland's largest puffin colony. You have a couple of options here. You're able to take a boat tour to go ahead around the island and see the birds up close, or you could take your vehicle on the ferry and drive out to the end of the island. One thing I wanna note before we get too far into this video is that puffin Puffins are pretty friendly with people in that they're not scared of them and they can see you around and they're not flying away or, you know, hiding to get away. However, it's very important to note that these are birds in their natural habitat. What they do is they burrow out a little hole in the cliffside where they have their babies and their nests and their safekeeping. And then they go and fly out to sea, fly back, get the fish, bring it to the babies and kind of just hop around on land a lot. So with that being said, it's important to note that when you do see puffins, that you're not trying to pet them or touch them or interfere with their natural day-to-day -day activities. Now let's move on to the second place to see puffins in Iceland. And that is Dyrholai. This is a beautiful rock arch located off the south coast of Iceland. Very popular tour destination, very common to stop at in the first place, but the puffins love this area because it is a steep cliffside, lots of wind, really great fishing, so this is a common place to see puffins. However, I would like to note that sometimes during the major Eating season, as in when they first arrive on Iceland and they're mating and setting up nests for their babies, sometimes the road access to Dierhole will be closed off to not interrupt this mating and nesting process. So just be aware if you're coming early in the summer, it's possible that you might not be able to locate them at this location. And at Dierhole, because it is such a steep cliff, Sometimes it's not clearly possible to see them in that they're in the cliffs, they're out to sea, and sometimes it can just be difficult to really get like a close up glimpse. So if you're wanting those, you know, really close moments, then stay tuned because I have a couple of locations coming up that you're gonna wanna hear. But at Deer Hole, you will see them flying around and landing on the cliffs. It's a great, easy place to get to. Before I talk about my next location, if you're coming to Iceland in the summer to see puffins, you wanna make sure that you have the right gear for your trip. And a lot of people that come in the summer might think that it's warm or sunny all the time, and it's not. So make sure to prepare for your trip that you grab my free summer packing list. This includes everything that you will need for your summer trip in order to stay dry and warm yes, warm, during summer, including my most recommended summer packing item. I'll go ahead and link it in the description below. So without further ado, let's get back into the tips. The next location to find puffins in Iceland is called Ingosavi. So this is a nature reserve and protected area located in the southeast part of Iceland. And this is home to a wide variety of bird species, not just puffins. And this is one of the areas that you can only get to by a guided tour. The tours involve a drive in a specially equipped vehicle. So a tractor or some kind of bus that's going to take you out to the puffins. And then you'll need to do a short hike to the top of the cliff. From there, you're gonna be able to see lots of birds over a panoramic view of the beautiful coastline of Iceland. 
Scotland. If you're wanting to head to this location and wondering what tour to take, I went ahead and linked that tour in the description box below. The next location is my personal favorite place in Iceland to see puffins, and that is Borgafjörður Eistri. This is located in the very eastern part of the country and just about an hour detour off the main ring road. So if you're traveling around the ring road, this is probably the easiest place to see the puffins. Not only do I recommend this detour for the puffins, but it's one of the most adorable villages in all of Iceland. Surrounded by mountains with the beautiful seaside, this is definitely a place to add to your bucket list. To find the puffins, all you have to do is look for the harbor called Hafnahomi and park in a lot and walk a short little distance to this beautiful viewing platform. When you walk up, you will be amazed. There are going to be thousands of puffins. It's crazy. And you're gonna be very close to them here. So just like I said before, do not interact with them. Do not try to touch them. You will be very close so your photos will turn out beautifully. And because you're so close, you'll actually be able to see them bringing the fish in with the fish hanging out of their beaks and going into their little holes. This is just an incredible thing to witness. There are pathways located along the cliffs. And so it's a really easy and accessible way to see the puffins. My husband and I were here a couple of summers ago and we spent literally three to four hours just walking around and seeing them from the various locations. The next place to find puffins in Iceland is in Lautrabjörg. This is a cliffside located in the West Yards region of Iceland, which is the Northwest corner, all those little fingers that stick out. And this is also one of the most common places to see puffins in Iceland. A lot of people travel to the West Yards, especially in the summer, because they should, it's beautiful. And when you drive out to Lautrabjörg, you'll be able to see the puffins along this sharp cliff wall. This is obviously just incredible scenery around this area. It kind of reminds me of the Cliffs of Moher in Ireland, if any of you know what that is. You have this steep rock wall and the ocean coming up. It's absolutely beautiful. Do note, in this location, it is a very, very steep drop off to the sea. And surprisingly, the barriers are not built up around this area. So do use caution when you're trying to, you know, get to the cliffside and see the puffins and just use your best judgment. So there you have it, the five best places to see puffins in Iceland. I hope you loved this video. So now that you know where to find the puffins in Iceland, make sure that you know all about how to plan for the nuances of a summer trip in Iceland. That's why you need to watch the next video that's popping up on the screen where I talk all about the weather, daylight hours, temperature, and more so that you can have the best trip ever. I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, Happy planning.